There are currently eight planets in our solar system, but there was a time when there were nine. Pluto was once considered a planet, but due to new categorization rules, it was reclassified as a dwarf planet. Despite no longer being classified as a planet, Pluto remains just as captivating as it has always been. With countless images of Pluto available, we are continuously learning about its many mysteries and gaining new insights into this enigmatic world. While much information about Pluto is readily available online, we are excited to share with you some truly unique aspects of this celestial body that you may not have encountered before. So sit back, relax, and join us as we take you on a journey through the fascinating world of Pluto. Don't miss a single moment of this video. Let's start. You are watching Futuristic YouTube channel. Do subscribe to the channel. Pluto, the mysterious and enigmatic planet that lies 40 astronomical units away from the Sun, remains a fascination for astronomers and space enthusiasts alike. The distance between the Earth and the Sun is commonly referred to as one astronomical unit, and Pluto's vast distance from the Sun is one of the primary reasons why it appears so dark. Its orbit around the Sun is far more elliptical than those of other planets, which means that it takes an extraordinary amount of time to complete a single revolution. In fact, one year on Pluto is equivalent to 248 Earth days. Despite its captivating allure, Pluto is a tiny planet with a radius of only 1,188 kilometers making it smaller than our very own moon. This, combined with its considerable distance from Earth, has made it challenging for scientists to conduct research on this intriguing world. However, by calculating its mass based on its movements, scientists have determined that Pluto weighs approximately 1.30 times 10 to the 22 kilograms, which is only 18% of the mass of our moon. As a result of its size, Pluto was reclassified as a dwarf planet in 2006 joining other small celestial objects in our solar system, such as Sedna, Ceres, and Eris. Pluto remains a mysterious and elusive world that lies so far from Earth that even the Hubble telescope struggled to capture its secrets. Despite managing to snap a blurry image of the distant planet, scientists were left thirsting for more knowledge. Determined to uncover Pluto's hidden wonders, they launched a spacecraft in 2006 with the bold mission of journeying close to Pluto and capturing detailed images of its surface. The journey took a staggering 9.5 years to complete, spanning a distance that underscores the vastness of space. As the spacecraft moved towards its targets, it made a pit stop at Jupiter, sending back mesmerizing images of the gas giant to Earth. Finally, in 2015, the spacecraft reached Pluto's orbit and revealed a stunning world that defied expectations. As the spacecraft captured new images of Pluto, it gradually revealed the planet's breathtaking beauty and extraordinary complexity. After arriving at Pluto, the spacecraft conducted over 400 observations and transmitted the resulting data back to scientists on Earth. However, due to the immense distance between Pluto and Earth, it took an entire year for the data to reach its destination. The frigid temperatures on Pluto, which can dip as low as 60 Kelvin or negative 213 degrees Celsius, make it an incredibly harsh environment in which even the most resilient animals would struggle to survive. One of the most beautiful images captured by New Horizons is the heart of Pluto, which you can now see on your screen. This heart-shaped region, also known as Tambog Regio, is located in the equatorial area of Pluto and covers an area of about 2,300 kilometers. Interestingly, this region encompasses a whopping 25% of Pluto's land area, making it stand out prominently in the planet's photographs. Please note that when I mention the planet, I am referring to the dwarf planets, not the actual planets. The heart of Pluto is not a humongous region and consists of various types of land features. One fascinating example is the Sputnik Planitia, a large smooth plain that spans the western part of the region. It's about 1,492 kilometers in diameter and sits at a lower elevation than its surroundings. But what truly sets it apart is its composition, which is dominated by a thick layer of nitrogen ice, solid methane, and carbon dioxide. These elements reflect nearly 90% of the sunlight that falls on it making it one of the most distinctive features on the planet. Thanks to the New Horizons spacecraft, we now have a front row seat to the beauty and complexity of Pluto's heart. And with each new discovery, we are reminded of the vast and wondrous universe that surrounds us. Discovered in the Kuiper Belt, a remote region of our solar system, Pluto is surrounded by a vast expanse of dust and snow-covered rocks. Interestingly, scientists believe that a massive asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs originated from the same region that Pluto calls home. Despite its demotion from planet status, Pluto remains the largest object found in the Kuiper Belt. Recently, 
The New Horizons spacecraft captured images of a surprising sight on Pluto's surface, a series of volcanoes with different heights, devoid of impact craters, indicating that they were not caused by external objects. After extensive research, scientists discovered that these volcanic formations were not the result of tectonic plate movements, but were instead caused by geological disturbances within Pluto's planetary structure, possibly from a massive volcanic eruption. According to estimates, if the formation of these volcanoes was due to a large volcanic eruption, it would have occurred within the last two billion years, which in the grand scheme of things is not that long ago. While it has many small volcanoes, two of them stand out for their uniqueness and mystery. The first one, Wright Mons, spans an impressive 150 kilometers in width and towers to a height of about 5 kilometers, equivalent to 60% of the height of Mount Everest. The second, named Pickard Mons, covers an area of about 225 kilometers and rises to an astounding 7 kilometers, nearly as high as Mount Everest itself. What's more astonishing is that Pluto, a planet much smaller than Earth, possesses volcanoes that are similar in size to the most active volcano on our planet, Mauna Loa. The volume of these two massive structures is remarkably comparable, given the stark contrast between Pluto's frozen environment and the fiery environment of volcanic activity on Earth. These giant formations are located in the southwestern region of Sputnik Planitia, a region known for its mysteries and intriguing features. The presence of such gigantic volcanoes on a tiny planet like Pluto, located at the outermost reaches of our solar system, is a testament to the powerful and mysterious forces that shaped its landscape. Scientists have proposed an intriguing theory to explain the formation of the vast and smooth Sputnik Planitia on Pluto. According to this theory, the region owes its unique appearance to a series of cryovolcanoes that have erupted over time. Unlike the fiery volcanoes that we see on Earth, these icy volcanoes eject materials such as water ice, methane, and nitrogen from their interiors. Despite having temperatures slightly higher than the frigid environment around them, the materials that they release are still incredibly cold. In fact, if one were to jump into one of these cryovolcanoes, their demise would not be due to burns, but due to freezing from the intense cold. One might wonder where the energy to power these volcanoes comes from. After all, without a source of heat, a volcano would have no energy to spew matter out. The answer lies in the unique environment of Pluto, where even the smallest amounts of energy can have a significant impact. As these cryovolcanoes burst forth, the ejected materials rapidly cool and settle forming the smooth, reflective surface of Sputnik Planitia. The region reflects up to 90% of the light that falls upon it in space, giving it a striking and otherworldly appearance. Indeed, Pluto's icy volcanoes and the remarkable impact on its landscape continue to capture the imagination of scientists and space enthusiasts alike. But where does all this energy come from? Volcanic eruptions on our planets are fueled by the radioactive decay happening at the center of the Earth. This energy helps to spew out molten lava from the depths below. However, radioactive decay is not the only source of energy that triggers volcanic eruptions. In fact, we can observe active volcanoes in other parts of our solar system, such as on Jupiter's moon, Io. Despite being a satellite, Io is teeming with volcanic activity. Thanks to the strong gravitational pull of its giant planet, the immense gravity of Jupiter tugs at the material inside the moon, causing it to erupt through the volcanoes on its surface. Without a massive gravitational force or radioactive decay, how can volcanoes erupt on Pluto? According to scientists, the center of Pluto has not cooled down completely, and there is still residual heat from its formations that fuels these volcanic eruptions. Volcanism, which involves the eruption of volatiles such as water, is common in celestial objects with liquid oceans beneath their surface, like Enceladus, one of Saturn's moons. Scientists speculate that there might be a liquid ocean beneath the volcano on Enceladus, possibly harboring life. However, much about Pluto still remains a mystery as the New Horizons spacecraft was able to observe the planet for only one day, providing limited data. It's possible that the volcano on Pluto is dormant, indicating that the planet is no longer active. But if the volcano was indeed active, it would be a testament to Pluto's continued vitality as a celestial object. So, that's all for today's video. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.